on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Want a good, cheap, affordable bike? X gonna give it to you. Let's take a ride to the post office. Put a few more miles on the Hawk X. I gotta get myself a bag. I think that'll stay. <laughs> we'll see. I gotta lower that front brake a little. Much better. We only have 34 miles on the X. So how she starts with no choke. Pretty good. Of course it's going to be a little lean till it warms up, so we'll let her warm up a little bit before we go. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some upgrades to this soon. More like carburetor. squeak a little bit more power out of it yeah the brakes are just like the original hawk the front brakes i should say they're a little spongy because they use that rubber hose all the way so i mean when you squeeze it it definitely expands that hose a little bit but they work fine get some more miles on her to break it in the key tags are still there some road work I want that Fiero thanks Mike ordering a leather key tag and a yellow key tag and I threw a little extra something something in there for you so I 3D printed a Milwaukee M18 to a Bauer Harbor Freight, or I guess all the Harbor Freights take the same battery now, I think, I don't know. Because I saw they had a couple cheap tools that I wanted to try. I'm not going to buy a bunch of new batteries since I have a ton of Milwaukee in their batteries. It didn't come out too bad, so I don't need to take a Harbor Freight trip soon. I saw they had a battery-powered glue gun for... It was cheap. I think it was like $40 or something. I mean, that'd be perfect for something like that. There is a little learning curve on that 3D printer. I got everything down, but sticking to the table, and I think I got that down too. I'm gonna need fuel, aren't I? Some people said to spray Aquanet extra old hairspray. Some said use that Elmer's glue stick and then some say just clean the glass off really really good and clean it with alcohol which is what I did the last time and it actually stuck pretty good as long as you have your table temperature set at the right temperature it actually stuck good and then when it was done it shut down and cooled off and when it cooled off it the parts just basically weren't stuck at all so I don't know if that's normal I know a lot of you guys do 3d printing you gave me a ton of real good advice I see there's some Hawk stuff on the free 3d download forms what was a thing verse I think I found it on it's fun but it takes a long time thanks again Ryan for giving me that 3d printer I just paid for shipping and I appreciate it I don't worry about running out of fuel on these bikes because it has a reserve. Definitely feel it's a little on the lean side like they all come. Once I put that carburetor on, I'll do another 0 to 50 or 0 to 60 time. Man, I love riding. This is the best therapy I could get. I don't think I could pay a shrink to give me better therapy than riding. And I think it's a lot cheaper. 
I'm not exactly sure how much therapy costs, but say you spend $1,500 to $2,000 on a cheap motorcycle and you get a good five, six years out of it, I'd say it was cheaper. You're not going to go to five years of therapy for two grand or less. I can guarantee you that. And a lot of people are afraid of motorcycles and I can understand that. Especially today. The roads get worse and worse as time goes on, but that's why I say I like staying on the back roads, boys. is smooth and these CG motors are pretty good they're not powerhouses but they do put out a decent amount of torque these are a push rod engine and it's actually a single lobe cam yep but they work they're proven their biggest market was Africa it's a low maintenance highly reliable engine Come at me, bro. I'm also gonna have to shave this seat down. Oh, a race car. Ah, darn it. Should have brought my little GPS thing to check the accuracy. I got it all set up for portable moving back and forth to bikes, too. Even zip tied uh, battery pack on the back, if, you know, if you don't have a little plug like I haven't done on this yet. Mm hmm. Take up the whole road, why don't you? Remember me saying it was dangerous? Even on the back roads. And I do think once you learn how to ride a motorcycle properly, it makes a way better automobile driver. Because when I'm riding a motorcycle, and if there's someone gonna pull out, I think in my head that they're pulling out. So I'm already looking for ways to avoid some kind of a accident. And I do the same thing in a car. If you're the kind of driver that just gets in a road and drives and don't really pay much attention, you think that guy on the side at the stop is gonna stop and not pull out in front of you. Maybe a motorcycle's not for you definitely have to do some defensive driving when you're on a motorcycle and I wouldn't say I'm an expert but I've been riding long enough you see I wear all my proper riding gear and all so why wouldn't you listen to me <laughs> this is River Road it goes from New Milford all the way up to well, I guess you'd call it Kent South Kent Oh wow, yellow finch. Been getting a lot of rain around here. Down about 60 at night. I'm not ready for winter yet. It's not even September. Good lord. I have that leaf on KPX 250 coming in. The x -Spect. Looks like a pretty promising bike. Six speed, overhead cam. Used to be a blacksmith down here. Oh, look at that. What is that? Hmm. The foundation for something. I never knew that was there. Wonder what that was. Was it for a stagecoach? Yeah, that's old stagecoach road. Huh. Well, get oh yeah, I see it. Must have had something to do with the railroad, I would guess.
confirm whether those are kilometers or miles on the odometer. Kinds of road work today. They're grading the road. I hope he gets an A. I'll give it a C plus. Loose dirt a little bit. Beaver Dam. Nice beaver. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. Peace. More yellow finches. I see a lot of them this year. That old foundation, I want to get up in there. I've been saying that for years. He's scared of you, ex. The engine is smooth. A baby roller. Watch out! They did say a 35% chance of rain today. Five oh boys. Get some fuel. No super. Hmm, no super. Oh well. Guess we're not getting super. No. Oh. You're not an idiot, huh? I noticed in this gas tank they dropped that thing way down because they, they were having problems with gas splashing back up on you. So probably if you fill it all the way up, you drive it around, it levels off at a lower point. Would be my guess why they did that. It should start in gear, let's see, with the clutch in because it has a clutch switch. Yep. Idle's a little high, but not horrible. Well, old 280. We gotta change the oil when we hit 100 on this, too. Uh oh, just got a drop of rain. <laughs> it's cooling off a bit, too. The X might get its rain christening. <laughs> There's always somebody out there when I come through here. Must be the smoker's lounge.
Oh, there's people down there on the rocks. Good old Bulls Bridge. Oh, I should have reset my trip thing here. Let's see how many miles I get on per gallon. I'll put it to zero now. What I do about seven, eight miles. Maybe I could see the odometer when I gassed up. Should get 70 to 80 miles per gallon if you're not beating on it. I can fit by, right? Yeah, you can get by. Just making sure. All kinds of road work today. Beat the motor home? Don't know. Whoa, chip bump. 80 miles on a button. Break in's almost over. Good ride, X. Good ride. X, 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 don't give it to you. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.